So here's another installment of What Did Paradox Buy this morning or today. I got uh, this Jon Snow here. Really cool character. It's actually Jon Snow uh, Beyond the Wall. I wanted to kind of give an example of what these kind of go for in uh, real life. Um, so these are physical pop collectibles. Again, don't be mistaken. Uh, the one I'm getting is digital. I think it's awesome. Uh, but I want to see kind of the values that I'm getting on this market. I kind of picked this up, added it to my collection. Didn't have it yet. Thought it was really cool, man. These 3D... Um, little models that we have on Twitter, really fun. I can mess around with them, play with them, spin them. I just, you know, something I can look at when I'm bored or kind of want to just have a little bit of fun. Um, but I thought I'd share to show the, the values I get on this market. Um, this one here, these guys are 15 cents. Uh, I wanted to kind of stack them. Um, I usually kind of look for lower prints. Uh, this one's a 269, uh, really awesome. And um, I like these kind of uh, 3D fish figures. Um, they're really cool. You know, who knows what the utility will be in the future? Maybe nothing. You know, I just collect it for fun. But um, I think mostly with the ranking and stuff, uh, that might be something in the future. That might be a lot more important. So anytime I have a chance to kind of get lower prints, I will do so. Especially if I find a good value. You know, you know, goes up for pretty, pretty good price. Um, these ones are sugar skulls. Um, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Love sugar skulls. Really cool. Like the dice in them. So um, this one's a five ten print. A lower print. I kind of show these not to show that you know, hey, there's an astronomical amount of profit you made, but mostly just sharing that um, there's value here. I think these are great prices for digital collectibles. I you know invite other people to jump on board, but hopefully for the right reasons. Um, never forget rich quick or for trying to turn a massive amount of profit. Just you know, click what you love, have fun. Uh, this animated albino fish, um, it's pretty cool. Um, here's some Power Rangers. Again, another low print kind of found on the market. End up getting that. Thanks. You're welcome. Uh, I think it looks pretty cool. Nice detail. This one's kind of a morphin um, blue Power Ranger. Um, it's a, not a lower print, but I want to kind of stack, get a second one. Um, maybe for you know trading or up trading in the future, maybe get the four that I might want. So the reason why I kind of collect these two, so I can kind of just put them in my arsenal. This one's pretty cool. This one's a Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Um, it's a 2017 set. Um, this one is uh, one of the base cards, uh, three in one from. Uh, uh, out of 50,000, so I think it's pretty low. It's the first Slayer. There's the date that shows these print dates. Um, I personally like to print, uh, collect the earlier prints. Here's another one from another set. Um, a 381, um, or 342. Um, that one's pretty cool. So needless to say, I'm always trying to add to my collection. Um, just always trying to get like lower prints, get older ones. Um, here is uh, Powerpuff Girls. I like to collect stuff too that um, I kind of watch uh, with my kids as they're growing up. I think it's a lot of fun. It brings back a lot of memories. So uh, I think my reason for collecting is uh, sometimes a little different than others. Um, but you know, everyone to their own, different strokes for different folks. This one kind of was a 7500 print out of the second edition. So a lot of times people look at large amounts and not realize that um, they're really much lower CC. Uh, here's a White Ranger. Um, I kind of stack these guys. Uh, when I can, especially with the unfortunate uh, late passing of uh, Jason David Frank. Um, love the White Ranger, love the Green Ranger growing up. Here's um, uh, Dungeons and Dragons. These are pretty cool, man. I love the detail on these. We have some really killer collectibles here on Quid that are really highly detailed. I think they're uh, overlooked, but uh, hopefully this brings more light to them. Really neat. Um, on the web app, you can actually kind of move these around and manipulate them a little bit better. So I'm not sure in the future what might change with that, um, but uh, I just think it's cool. Uh, here we have uh, 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 Rigby uh, from uh, Regular Show, and uh, I like to collect these, man. Again, my kids used to watch the show, and I used to watch it with them when they were growing up. I thought it was really cool. So uh, picked up another uh, White Ranger there, again, 20 cents. I think again, it's great value. Um, here's one that's from the Dino um, uh, Dino Rangers. Um, I didn't watch that um, when the show was out, but I think it's pretty, pretty cool. It's a low print. Add it to my collection. And then um, I picked up uh, these uh, other unmasked rangers. Kind of like the, the, um, like the minis. So I, I've sold physical, like, um, ro uh, um, like a kid robot and uh, the dunnies and stuff like that. And eBay done pretty good. Here's some more My Little Ponies. I stack these when I can. 15 cents. I think it's a bargain. I think they look pretty cool, you know, um, and everything like that. So, you know what, again, I, I collect these just because I think the, it's a great value. 
I can always trade them. I can give them away to friends and family, people who might appreciate them more um, when the prices are higher, if they ever get higher. Here's another one, Rainbow Dash. And uh, again, this is 125,000. And just want to tell you that usually it's a lower CC. 